there was a girl named Ziyu who graduated from college without any special skills and didn't know what to do. She started working as an operator in a garment factory. Unfortunately, in less than three months, her boss fired her because she was too slow in cutting and sewing clothes, and the quality wasn't up to standard. Ziyu's mother told her that everyone has their own pace, and while others had been doing this job for many years, she had focused on her studies. How could she catch up? Later, she worked as an administrative assistant, but she was fired after two months because she often made mistakes with documents due to her clumsiness. She then took a job as an elevator attendant in a department store, but after less than a month, she found the work too boring, and standing for long periods of time caused her back pain, so she quit. Next, she tried working as a hotel cleaner, but it was too physically demanding and she quit after less than a week. Finally, she tried selling cars, but her manager told her not to button the first two buttons of her shirt to attract customers, which she felt was unreasonable and even harassing, so she quit. Ziyu felt like a failure and felt sorry for her mother. But her mother didn't blame her. Instead, she encouraged her, saying, Everyone is born to do something, and you will surely find a job that really suits you. Ziyu tried several other jobs, but she didn't last long at any of them. Coincidentally, Ziyu's sister had to go on a business trip down south for a few days and didn't have time to take care of her mischievous four year old son. She needed a babysitter and since Ziyu had some free time, she decided to help out. Ziyu discovered that she really enjoyed the job, as she had a special knack for taking care of children. She was patient and knew how to interact with children, and her nephew loved her. A thought occurred to Ziyu, since she had a talent for taking care of children, why not become a professional nanny? She decided to take classes and became a certified nanny. Ziyu began working as a professional nanny. Because of her unique methods and ability to connect with children, she gained a good reputation and many parents specifically requested her to be their child's nanny. A few years later, Ziyu founded a nanny school that specialized in training nannies. Under her dedicated leadership, the school became nationally renowned. Ziyu herself became a successful and respected businesswoman. One day, the accomplished Ziyu visited her aging mother and asked her a question she had always wondered about. She wanted to know why her mother had so much faith in her during those years when she was facing repeated failures and felt hopeless about her future. Her mother's answer was simple, if a piece of land is not suitable for growing wheat, you can try planting beans, if beans don't grow well, you can plant fruit, and if fruit doesn't grow well either, sprinkle some buckwheat seeds on it, and it will surely blossom. For every piece of land will eventually find a seed that suits it, and it will produce its own harvest. After hearing her mother's words, Ziyu cried. She understood that her mother's trust, love, and support were like a resilient seed, and that her own success was the result of that seed's unwavering growth. For many young people who can't find a job or struggle to find the right one, don't lose hope. Keep trying, learning, and exploring, and one day you will undoubtedly find a job that suits you because everyone is born to do something and life will find its own way. 单字 Operator 操作员,作业员 Noun Someone whose job is to use and control a machine or vehicle. Garment 一件,衣服,服装 Noun A piece of clothing. So,缝制,衣服 Verb 
To make a piece of clothing by joining pieces of cloth together by putting thread through them with a needle. Up to, 接近于 Adverb Used to say that something is less than or equal to, but not more than a stated value, number, or level. Administrative assistant, 行政助理 Now Someone whose job is to do tasks such as arranging meetings, typing letters, etc. For someone. Clumsiness, 笨拙, 不谨慎的动作或行为. Now. Movement or behavior that is not careful and controlled, and makes you likely to have accidents. Elevator attendant, 电梯小姐. Button, 扣上, 的, 纽扣. Verb. To fasten something, usually a piece of clothing, using buttons. Button, 纽扣, 扣子. Noun. A small, usually circular object used to fasten something, for example a shirt or coat. Harris, 骚扰. Verb. To continue to annoy or upset someone over a period of time. Everyone is born to do something, 天生我才必有用. Coincidentally, 碰巧的是,巧合的. Adverb. Because of chance or luck. Mischievous, 爱物作剧的, 顽皮的. Adjective. Behaving in a way, or describing behavior, that is slightly bad but is not intended to cause serious harm or damage. Knack, 技能, 本领, 技巧. Noun. A skill or an ability to do something easily and well. Certified, 有合格证书的, 获得资格的. Adjective. Having a document that proves that you have successfully finished a course of training. Nanny, 保姆. Noun. A woman whose job is to take care of a particular family's children. Specialize, 专门研究, 专攻, 专门从事. Verb. To spend most of your time studying one particular subject or doing one type of business. Renowned, 著名的. Adjective. Famous for something. We, 小麦. Noun. A plant whose yellowish brown grain is used for making flour, or the grain itself. Sprinkle, 撒, 撒. Verb. To drop a few pieces or drops of something over a surface. Bakui, chiao mai. Noun. Small, dark grain used for feeding animals and for making flour. Blossom ju wu, kai hua. Verb. When a tree or plant blossoms, it produces flowers before producing fruit that can be eaten. Resilient, shi ying xing chang de. Adjective. Able to quickly return to a previous good condition. Unwavering, 从不动摇的, 从不变弱的. Adjective. Never changing or becoming weaker, 